The results for Iran's elections are slowly coming in, and if they stand, this could be a resounding victory for the moderates and the reformers here in this country. Now, we have to keep in mind that there were two elections that took place here. One was for the Council of Experts, which is a religious body that will vote for the next supreme leader. So that was a very important election that took place. And for the Tehran area, the way things are shaping up, moderates and reformers could take up to 12 of 15 available seats, leaving only three for the conservative forces. Now, there seems to be a similar picture as far as the parliamentary elections are concerned. There, for the Tehran area, the early projections are that the reformers and moderates could take a vast majority of the seats for the Tehran area. It's 30 seats that are up for grabs and could even take all of them if the results continue to go the direction that they were shaping up. Now, the election council here in Iran has warned that these are preliminary results and that final results won't probably come in until sometime on Tuesday. However, many Iranians and many in the international community saw these elections as a referendum of the policies of President Hassan Rouhani of opening this country up to the West. And of course, the centerpiece of those policies was the nuclear agreement between Iran and world powers that on the one hand put curbs on Iran's nuclear program, but on the other hand also led to sanctions relief. And while many Iranians have not felt the benefits of that sanctions relief yet, it appears as though if these results stand and if they get strengthened, that many of them believe that things could change for the better in this country in the not too distant future. And it seems as though the electorate here may have given Hassan Rouhani a clear mandate to continue and even accelerate those reforms. For a plank in CNN.